we're here at the notch and you can tell some people they took the clear way and they went up the snow a little steep really slushy looking the steps look deep good morning food lockers over there we are heading off to the notch it's about six miles from now it's the highest point on the skyline trail and the do not do or don't do notch sign we're just kind of ignoring it because we think it's really old but we're gonna head out now and uh see for ourselves what it's like six miles from now and we have a steep climb ahead of us though this morning we decided to get going instead of using the privy that they have set up there there were more flies there than i've seen in a very long time than any privy slash toilet and uh we decided it's better just dig a hole and honestly if i dig a hole i just go much quicker and it's more thorough so i appreciate that and uh now we're gonna head off though so a full day of excitement to come well because we're starting early it's seven o'clock it's gonna be half a day of excitement and then we'll be done and sitting around <laughs> we might be done by two o'clock today who knows this is trail this morning and we are gonna hook in there we're gonna go to the right to little shovel pass and then hook in and uh there's a big like basin over there and that's the notches on the far side of it. Six miles from here. We still got a while to go, but it looks like it's not too far. It'll be far and steep though. I'll, I'll stop vlogging for now so we can look for animals. Look at this meadow we're in. It's just wide open. I don't know how well you can see the flowers out there, but they're American globe flowers. They're just all over and all around us. Just mountains with snow on it. Patches of snow which is, you know, easier for hiking, but still beautiful, beautiful morning. And it's not too cold or anything. It's maybe like 50 something degrees, feels like 60 degrees and it's gonna get warmer quick. The sun is up, by the way, sunset is, I think what was it, 1028 or something like that. Sunrise is 520, I don't know. <laughs> it's some crazy times. We looked it up and it's, 16 hours 44 minutes of sunlight so it's a lot of sunlight up here and uh can't wait to get to the notch and get it up. afterwards it should just be like ridge walking it should be beautiful though so it'll be fun we have a nice bridge over the stream it's always nice having a bridge it's a nice sturdy one too and a nice stream just flowers everywhere. Look at that. And don't worry, before we approach the stream, we looked up and down the stream to make sure there were no bears around. Because they can't hear us approaching when they're right by a stream. And plus, I want to see them. This is behind us, jagged mountains far in the background, snow fields, lots of open meadow, and just beautiful snow covered mountains. I guess not covered, snow highlighted mountains all throughout. This is Curator Mountain ahead of us, and that is not the notch. 
we're actually going up the trail like over there-ish and then um, we should see soon maybe the notch itself but who knows we'll see there's that ring of flowers again isn't that weird we're here at shovel pass and we can see the notch it's like right there and there's a big cornice so the only way around it is you gotta like really scramble around the edge of the snow unless someone chipped in steps but that's like walking over the cornice so even all the way on the right so it looks steep i don't know if we can get over there on the right yeah i'm not sure yeah uh we'll get a little closer look soon here but uh there's more writing on the ground we think it says change leave here almost says like reverse explore reverse your trip reverse Reverse your trip, but there's a word there. It looks like explore. No, leave here, even reverse your trip. That looks like an X to me, not a V. E X P L O R E. Leave here, change, leave here, explore, reverse your trip. Very odd. the lake we climbed all the way up and we are standing not next to it but pretty close to the notch and look at the cornices there are some steps over here right there that go up and across the trail but at the visitor center they did say we can go to the right and it looks like it's level enough some bouldering but i think we can get over it without having to go through the big snowfield. all the snow is super slushy right now so not the best if we can avoid it, uh, I think it'd be good. Although the snow footage would be more exciting for sure. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna try to hook right. Here we are traversing the snowfield. Instead of walking through it, we opted to go up and around. Might have been better going down through over those big rocks. Cause up here was just loose rock, crazy dusty. You could see Tina's feet sliding, but she has to go up and over. And there's more bigger rocks, and then we're almost there. We're here at the notch and you can tell some people they took the clear way and they went up the snow. A little steep, really slushy looking. The steps look deep, but there are a lot of footsteps through the dirt here. And we're going to go around the right. Looks good. Just a lot of slippery, loose rocks we got to get over. But I think the stuff we covered already was the steepest, worst of it. Maybe. Felt like it, but I don't know. Don't jinx it. This looks super hard. This is gonna be the harder, hardest part of the hike in the whole hiking career. 
there's a notch up over there. You can see the footsteps and they go into a trail, so that's where the trail is. We just have to go up and around and down to the trailhead. Or not trailhead, <laughs> the trail itself. We're almost there. Just nice and slow and being careful. All right, we are past the notch officially. We don't have to go back. We can actually go forward to our next camp spot, which is, I think, like less than six miles away. Which is, look at this beautiful view. Just mountains, cornice. Look at this giant snowfield up here, though. I think it piles up because the wind is coming from the right, which is west, and then just drifts just really pile up on this side. And it gets, this is a big one. And uh, we're through. And now we're gonna walk a ridge for quite a while actually it's gonna be beautiful so how was the scramble up the side let me show you i'm much dirtier than tina is i think because i'm just rushed through it because I, I i would depend on momentum to kind of get me through some of the rocky like slippery areas um but as i pan down oh i shook i shook some of the dust off already but as i go down i was basically laying on the field for a couple times i think i got some cuts here and there i see a little bit of blood we'll wash it off later <laughs> i'm a mess it's a rough one sign it has listed highest point on the skyline trail at 25 10 meters and i'll show you the map here of feet but uh we are actually getting out at signal trailhead tomorrow afternoon 22 kilometers it's 8.3 to our campsite for tonight now we are hitting this little up and down area of this ridge walk pseudo ridge walk we're gonna be on the left side of the hill and every now and then but out to our left, there's all kinds of stuff. It's like Mount Edith Cavell. There's a road that goes there that's currently closed, I think. There's even Mount Whistler straight ahead of us. And you could even see a tram station, like I can, but that's right up there. And Mount Whistler is where we camp next to. We've been staying at Whistler Campground and we could see it clear as day. And here we are, we're almost, I guess we're about even. We're at 8,200 feet. Hmm. There's Jasper National Park. We've been seeing how barren it is up here. There's just little patches of flowers, but up ahead, there's that whole section. It's completely barren. It's just brown. And it looks like we're going to go up and over, maybe on the ridge there. Pretty crazy. There's nothing out here. On the right side of the mountain, we just cleared it and we just see this beautiful valley. Look at those lakes, look at the colors in them. Big open meadows, forested section, and the mountains back there, just forested and then sheer limestone. This whole section is just amazing, beautiful. Gosh, I wonder how, if you can get in there. It's just so beautiful. like a drone. From way up 
up here you can see the main river and there's actually we believe it's Wabaso campground like right there it's a huge campground looks like a city and towards the right we might see Whistler campground soon it's kind of next to the Whistler mountain so we can't see it yet Way down below is, we believe, First Lake, one of the Valley of Five Lakes trails you hike. And as we pan across, I believe we saw Whistler Campground. If not, no, that's Jasper. Whistler somewhere else, but that's Jasper right there, the town of Jasper. We're now in a totally different type of terrain. It's like we're walking on a trail between rocks. It's all kind of crazy. Uh, we should be heading down off the ridge soon here. It's crazy switchback time, except this pile of snow is pretty tall. It's like two Tinas tall. I guess they say don't touch switchbacks. In that case. In that case, yeah. Sorry. And it's not, yeah. What can we do? We don't even know where the trail goes over there. It's funny, we thought you'd have to climb over until you get to the trail, but the trail is right here. It's just a tiny little switchback that just goes right in the snow right here. Over here at this viewpoint just off the switchbacks, but we're going camping somewhere down there in the woods. Somewhere down there. Past the lake. Past the lake. It doesn't look far from here, but we got like, a lot of switchbacks to do. It's like Onion Valley. It's like Onion Valley, you think you're there in like 30 minutes, but it's going to take a lot longer. We've gone down in altitude and the flowers are back. And they are just blooming and beautiful. They're all over around here. Tina spotted these. I'll show you close-ups. But they look like fossils, like plants embedded in rock. And that's what you see. It's all over. Or right here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think they're fossils. fossils. We're coming up to a pretty interesting rock. There's Tina for scale. I think it's gigantic. It's like a big rectangle. I guess a parallelogram. It's got moss and flowers growing on top. Pretty weird, weird rock. Super vertical. I don't know if there's scratches from man or nature on here. It looks rather odd. This is what we're calling switchback hell. From where we were, it was about, as the bird flies, about 1.75 miles, but trail wise, it's over three miles to get there because it's just switchbacks like crazy and then there's all these cut switchbacks so they always put in these signs not to cut them but it's just switchback craziness all to get into this valley that's way on the other side of this valley <laughs> we came this way for so long here goes tina rock hopping across the stream we should make it And she does. And the trail continues that way, the opposite way I'm going.
we got to camp we walked around and we decided number six is a good one it's mostly shaded and it'll stay shaded for the rest of the afternoon and we are here early uh, because we started really early so we're gonna go have something to eat and then spend a couple hours and have dinner